Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Yo, if y'all new here and y'all don't know why I even clicked on here, <laughs> no, this channel is about um, medical fields, especially radiology, um, because that's what I, I'm certified in and I know, I don't say I know a lot about it, but I know enough to give you enough information to make you, help you make a proper decision on if you want to join the medical field or not. You know, um, it's a tough decision, man, especially whether you're younger or older, you know, that you don't know what you want to do in life. You don't know if uh, the medical field is for me or, you know, whatever. It's nice to have channels like myself to help you um, make that process a little easier. You know, a lot of channels don't do what I do. And if there is, I'm not throwing shade. I'm just saying, like, I haven't seen one that gives you the real, um, you know, the real hardcore facts of how easy or hard or you know difficult you know it is to be in any kind of program or to work in the field or um how to work around people it, it's tough it's a tough all-around environment and you came to the right spot so this is kind of something you're interested in make sure to go down there and hit the subscription button make sure you hit the notification bell up there that way you know every time i drop a video um i recently just did get monetized so i'm gonna start see when I could fit my schedule and then start doing live streams and I'll start taking questions, um, telling me like little stories that happened that day or just stories in the past, you know, being in a medical field. And I think that's fun, you know, I think that's fun because a lot of people don't understand what we go through on a daily basis. They just see the outside, they think that we're glorified, glorified, you know, uh, button pushers <laughs> and, and it's a lot more than that, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot more than that. But it's fun, man, it's a blessing all together, you know. So today what I wanna talk to you guys about is what to expect in radiology school in 2023 and beyond you know um and if you stay when you stay to the end i'm gonna give you a little perspective of what the field is right now and if it's even worth going for radiology so that being said stay to the end man because you're gonna miss a lot of vital information so anyway what to expect from school regular generate general um college program for radiology whether it's a private school, whether it's um, a private school or a public school, which, you know, that's up to you guys. But I do have a video somewhere down there um, that gives you the difference between private and public school. You guys are, you know, make your own decision based off that. But, you know, watch the video. If anything, I'll probably link it on this comments on the bottom that way I can watch it. But so it's a Monday through Friday uh, program, usually eight to five. Um, it's seldom that students do weekends because you have to do clinicals and it's seldom that students you see students on weekends hardly ever uh, so they have to go by the county or the public school um, you know curriculum hours so it's made like hours at their high school so it's basically Monday to Friday 8 to 4 8 to 4 30 the latest uh, usually it's a 24 month program uh, and you have to have I think to graduate with the AS in radiology is between Every school is different as between 77 to 94 credit hours. It depends what kind of um, what kind of school you choose and what they want, you know, it, it's every, every school is different. Um, so what you will be learning in the program um, will be uh, medical terminology. Super important to learn to read all these crazy words that, you know, we deal with on a daily basis. It's so basic, but you know, they have to make things complicated. <laughs> so you have medical terminology, you have um, patient care you gotta learn. You know, it's not just nursing. We have to learn how to deal with patients as far as like, you know, when you put a cassette behind their back, you know, make sure you don't pull out no, you know, no tubes or anything. You, you have to be super careful. Uh, you just can't pull a patient any kind of way just because you need an x-ray. There's a lot to learn behind patient care, you know, so patient care is super important. Um, you will learn um, radiology procedures, you know, like, you know, how to do an x-ray, how to do a hand x-ray, chest x-ray, abdomen x-ray, um, how to, you know, run a C-arm, how to run a portable, how to run a general x-ray room. You'll learn how to do that. Um, expect um, radiation protection. You know, you do work around radiation, so you will, if you go to school for that, you will be around radiation on a daily basis you know um you're not gonna sit there and be just because you're clocking you're not gonna be in radiation all day like oh, i'm already i'm getting radiated for 12 hours like no it doesn't work that way but when you do expose it is radiation so you got to make sure you protect yourself you don't you don't overexpose a patient and you protect the people around you when you x-ray you know you have to you know just a general rule when you do an x-ray portable you're supposed to yell x-ray that way people can understand 
and they move, you know, so you're going to, you're going to learn radiation protection. Um, you're going to learn how to work equipment, you know, equipment, you know, because like I said, a C arm is, you know, difficult to run. Portables aren't too hard, but you can run into stuff. You can, um, machine, just a regular x-ray room is difficult, especially if a mistake, everybody can run an equipment when everything's working perfectly. Right. But when things don't work your way, how do you fix the issue? So you have to learn that. You have to learn that because um, sometimes you're on your own, man. You're on your own and you can't just be like, oh, well, I don't want to expose them and go back downstairs. Like, no, you you have to figure it out. You have to have some kind of, um, uh, what is that word I'm looking for? Because um, you know how something gets stuck and you're like, but anyway, you have to learn how to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to figure it out. Uh, critical thinking. There you go. You have to have some kind of critical thinking and you know get that image you know if, if it messes up it messes up you know sometimes you can't help that a lot of equipment goes down you'll learn that you know you go to hospitals oh i work in this big hospital and you walk in and all this equipment is old you like you know the outside looks super shiny and nice and you go inside and everything's like old and super like you know needs to be readjusted needs to be fixed or thrown away or into life all that you know so it's a, you'll, you'll see that um, and another thing you'll, um, you'll learn or what they'll do is image production and evaluation. So basically if you're in a, if you're a student, you know, you're going to go to clinical sites and they're going to be like, okay, you already went over, you know, the chest, the lungs and your class. Now you can comp, you know, uh, which comp means that you can do it on your own, but you have to prove it to the tech. So you take a picture, you take an image and the tech will evaluate you, you know, it can critique you, you know, so, um, you know, he can be like, oh, well, you cut off the APCs, you cut off the cross-fitting angles, or, you know, you cut off half of the lung or whatever. And no real tech will let you do that anyway. So if he sees that or she sees that is going to happen, they'll stop it right away, you know. But when the image is up on the, on, the, on the imaging board on the computer, they'll run through some anatomy and all that. So you get evaluated, all that good stuff. So it's, a, it's an awesome two-year program, and you'll learn a lot, definitely a lot. Um, so before you even get into the program... You had to get um, some things. You had the background check. You can't have no criminal record. You do have to have all your vaccines up to date. Um, every vaccine since you were a kid, um, including the COVID. You know, you had to have COVID um, vaccine as well. Uh, you had to be in good physical health. Some people understand, man. You know, you can't be. You know, um, it, it, it's a rigorous job, man. You know, you have to push these heavy portables around. You have heavy patients that you have to put cassettes behind, or you have to slide cassettes under to get some good images. It's tough, man. We, I work right now in a six floor hospital, man, and so every floor has at least uh, 50 beds, at least 50 beds, maybe 60. And you're here around, you're around, doo -doo -doo, okay, I got this one, got this one, got this one. Like you're always on your feet. You know, not as bad as other professional careers in medical, but. There's a, a lot of times you'll be on your feet just working, 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 working. It depends what shift you're on. If you're in an OR and you're upstairs, you're doing surgery, you can pick your feet all day. You know, so you have to be in good physical health, man, because it is a tough job. It is tough on your body. Um, uh, you have to get drug tested. I mean, I have to throw that in there because, you know, some people are like, oh, you, yeah, you're going to get drug tested before you start school, probably during school, probably before you get hired. All that's going to happen. So if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I made a, um, I think I made a video like about kind of like this, um, but it was based off my 2009 <laughs> radiology tech. I just said my age, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I did my 2009. So the video I made was by 2009 standards what we used to do back then, you know? Um, but as you know, man, everything changes, you know, everything changes and times change and, and uh, policies and procedures change just like in hospitals. So... Apologize. Right now, I just want to help you. What do you want to drink? Uh, nothing. It comes with a drink, I think. Uh, Diet Coke. Diet Coke? Yes, ma'am. Okay, bye. Thank you. You see, I made my videos at work. <laughs> but, excuse that, guys. But anyway, um, was I going to say? Oh, so things change, right? So, when I graduated in 2009, um, I was blessed enough to not have to go through what you guys have to go through. And it's not bad, I, even though I do have to do it for CT. Um, so it's called CQR. So before you start your program, make sure you know this. It's nothing bad, but it's just something that's called CQR, which is Continuing Qualifications. What's it called? Continuing Qualifications Requirements. So CQR, you have to be done every 10 years. Um, it's not a pass or fail test. 
it, I mean, I'll, I'll make a more in-depth um, video on it if y'all want me to, but it's basically every 10 years, you have to get recertified in radiology. Um, do you have to take the registry over? No. But, you know, it is something you have to do every 10 years. Me, on the other hand, because I'm old school, you know what I'm saying? I'm old. I got grandfather in. I don't have to do that for x-ray. I don't ever have to worry about taking the registry again, just keeping all my CEUs um, through ASRT or whatever you choose to do. Um, but that's me. You know, I, I do ASRT. A lot of people don't like it because it is 150 bucks, 125 bucks a year. But the cool thing about ASRT to keep up your credits that you don't have to worry about anything. You do your books that come in the mail. You put your answers on, uh, on online. They automatically send it to your state. All you have to do is gonna go on the ART every year, do your little ART information, put that in. You go to your state's website, your um, health.org, whatever for your state, pay your little fee, and you're done. They auto, you'll see all your credits automatically transfer. That's why I like ASRT, but everybody's different, you know, but that's just me. So yeah, so CQR is something you knew, you knew cats or <laughs> not cats, but new era, new people have to deal with. I say cats, I'm old school, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect. But um, but yeah, man, so that's what you will deal with in the, in the radiology program 2023 and beyond. And like I said, this might last for like two or three years and then some new policy will come up. You know, it just, it comes with it, right? So um, now down to the, to the, you know, should you go or not go for it? Look, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. Right now is the perfect time to get into any medical field if you're there to make the money. Um, because we're so short staffed. When I first started radiology school and when I first started, I had to actually beg for a job, man. In 2000, oh, was it 2011? I was like, please, I need a job, I need a job, you know, please. And, and they got tired of me calling and, and begging for a job, so they gave me a job. You know, and I proved myself and, you know, time goes on and we're still here today, right? But now, you don't have to beg them for a job, they're gonna beg you to come work for them. When you're a student, they're gonna sit there and be like, please work for a hospital. We'll give you a so-and-so um, $15,000, $10,000 sign-on bonus. You know, we'll do this, we need you. Right now, you are in control as a student. You are in control as a tech. You can basically name your number, like er, pff, the money right now and how desperate they are for, for just medical professionals is crazy. So if you're into this program, whatever medical field you choose to go to, it is the perfect time. And I do not see it slowing down because like I said in my previous videos, if y'all seen it, people are getting smarter, man. People are learning how to make money from home. They're learning how to like make money from YouTube, um, TikTok, Instagram. There's so many ways of making income and they're getting they're getting smarter and they're getting wiser. And a lot of people don't want to go, you know, as they call it, you know, slave it, slave and go work twelve hours a day. Um, you know, hey, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, I went to school for it, so I enjoy my career. I love coming to work. Um, because it provides for my family, uh, but you know who knows a year from now. You know I decided to start traveling. You know what I'm saying and start doing you know travel you know assignments and getting paid triple to when I get paid now. You know, but um, but hey man, right now is a perfect perfect time to get into it. I I would advise everybody to get into the medical field because you will make good good money. And think about it, good money for the amount of of time you go to school for two years of sacrifice. To come out and make six figures if you wanted to it depends how much you want to work to me it's worth it you know and you don't have to do this forever you know and uh, like I, like me like I'm going to barber school now so I do my radiology I'm going to barber school and I'm kind of like not in patient care but now I have clients or not I don't have it yet but I'm working towards that so it's, you you have diversity man you have the time to do other things but um but hey man I hope this guy I hope this video helped you guys in some kind of form and um, thank you for watching and stay tuned, man, because there's way more coming.